How's it going? I know, I know. Crazy hectic, right? Well, sit back and relax and welcome welcome to the Mom and Pop Spot. Help me welcome my dad and the host of the show, St. Patrick. Welcome to all my moms, pops, guardians, and guests. This is episode number 24 of the Mom and Pop Spot podcast. I am your host, Mr. St. Patrick. Give myself a round of applause. <laughs> and we got the amazing and the beautiful Bernice in the house. Hello, everybody. Do you like your new song? I do like it. Right, it's cool. cute. There's another one that was supposed to have for the sound. for the, But how are you doing from 1 to 10? Today, mentally, emotionally. Mentally, you know, it was a struggle this week. Yeah. Yeah. Mentally, like just everything, which is kind of like all at once. You know? That's funny because that's how I was last week. Remember? Yeah. And this week I felt like more at ease. I don't know if it's because like with work, I was busy and my coworker finally came back. Um, so she was able to help me out with that. Uh, situations with family issues at home, was able to look on the, the brighter side. So it felt more, more peaceful this week. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I mean, I feel good today, though. Yeah, like you look amazing. I feel good today. Like I think it's I'm I'm trying to just eat better. I'm yeah. telling you, like a lot of the foods that I eat are just got so much inflammation, yeah. and it kills me. But when I eat better, I feel better. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah. what's one thing that you're doing that's um, eating better? Um, like today, I had my husband made me protein, like the Kodiak cakes with like fresh blueberries in there oh, okay. so all the antioxidants are like in blueberries so nice. that you can i could just feel it like yeah. it's just it's not bad yeah shout out for doing that too taking care of uh mama over here yeah yeah um and anything challenging really with with parenting you know this week you know it's been pretty smooth sailing i'm gonna That's say good. with these three girls of mine like you know, the oldest one, she's she's doing really good, yeah. you know, working, going, making sure she's on top of her homework. You know, the middle one, she's doing a lot better. That's good. You know, yeah. she has her moments, though. Let me tell you, she has a little mouth on her, but <laughs> man. And then the baby, she's she's doing, she's sick. Yeah. Poor baby's sick, but yeah. she's doing good. Um, You, you say that she's sick. Um. Are you giving her regular medicine or what are you doing to help her? Yeah, with I mean, you, the second that they start to feel like, like throat hurts or yeah. like allergies, let's go get allergy pills. Daytime, okay. nighttime, let's go get, like when she says her throat, I usually get like a Mucinex yeah. over the counter and some Flonase for the nose because she's been blowing her nose. Okay. You know, you got to, you can't just take them straight to the doctor. You got to, right. you got to try something over the counter first Cause i ask because i was wondering do you ever do like the old the old wives tales the old mama recipes not really some of it works though i know like a, the VIX, a lot of people the do. most known vix thing bottom and repeat on your chest the um, vix i do do we yeah. do have like a bottle of vix and then they have like these little things for the nose when it's clogged to like kind of sniff it up to yeah clear the air yeah, really. usually when my i get like really congested i still go to my mom and like she like sticks her tongue in my nose holes to like get all like, your the ton her tongue yeah <laughs> like it like pulls is that an the... old wife's tale? no i'm just kidding she don't do that so that's disgusting <laughs> that's gross. yeah um but i do see that a lot of people are now starting to do those um the net is the, is it the yes. netty what the, is it yeah the, the netty, netty, pie. The the netty, netty pie. pie yes, yes. Uh, that is starting to become a thing yes um, that's a big thing it's so nasty when it you is see so it online. nasty yeah i can't do it and people love to post about it i'm like can you not like oh, i get it so it works you know but it works yeah yeah i don't need to see that i remember this girl i was um for better lack of an explanation, I was courting her. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she was all mucusy and stuff. And she showed me how it works. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it is. I think I'm going to go home now. Yeah. <laughs> right. <It is. laughs> like, that it's was so disgusting. Gross. Not just that, so too, but like even after the fact, their nose will be running. Mm -hmm. Um, Because the fact there's been, you know. Yeah. Well, and also too, like when your kid is sick, please do not send them to school. Like, yes. Oh my God. Cause there's, it just spreads like freaking wildflowers. Yeah. yeah. Like don't Wild say, fire. just keep them home. Yeah. You know, like I hate it when like, cause my daughter comes home. She's like, Oh my God, mom, I need to start taking my vitamins. Everyone's coughing at school. And I'm like, Oh no. So she's bound, she bound to come home with it. You yeah. know? So. 
Yeah. Uh, we had a few kids that were sick this past week. Um, and even my wife, she got sick too. And we was just like a constant rotation. Actually, it's funny because I kind of played hooky um, because I was like, my the baby was sick and I have sick time. Mm-hmm. So versus me calling out sick for me, I was like, oh, I'm sick, you know. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to spend the time with the baby because the baby wasn't feeling good. Yeah. The next day it was the oldest, the oldest and the middle one. And then the day after it was my wife and it was just like, Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like one um, gets sick, y'all get sick. Yeah, eventually it's going down the chain. But we were trying to work on my me and my wife are real big real, real big on not necessarily taking prescription drugs. Yeah. We're trying to figure out other stuff. Yeah. Um, and then if it's not really working, then we kind of give them the band aid, you know, in regards to like some of the medication they have inside the stores. Yeah. I mean, they say to do that first though before you go run to the urgent care. They say do the over the counters for what, like five days, I think, or four yeah. days, or yeah, you know, at least try that. Yeah, but a lot of vitamin C though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of fluids too, because your body gets dehydrated really quick. Yes, for yeah. sure. You um, can steam it out. Oh yeah, yeah. hot steam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, my kid does that all the time. Um, he steams himself out. He does like the Dutch oven, so he'll throw <laughs> the blanket over and he like steams himself out. <laughs> Just kidding. Sweats it out. Yeah, he sweats himself out. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask you, are you familiar with the term parent superstition? No. What no? is that? So um, are you familiar with it, Elijah? Um, not necessarily as a term, but I know there's parent superstitions as far as like, kind of like you were talking about with the vapor rub, right? Kind of, but not necessarily. So parent superstition is like, I'm going to give you some examples. So like um, some parents are afraid to call other babies ugly because they're afraid that when they have, or some couples are afraid to call babies ugly because they're afraid that when they do have kids, they're they'll have an ugly. ugly baby or like, you know, down syndrome I've or heard of autistic that. or stuff like that. That's, yeah. you know, one of them. I was actually just asking Jess the other day if she would have the balls to tell somebody that they had an ugly baby. Oh, that's so yeah. sad. You can't do that. I mean, well, no, I mean yeah. like it was just I mean, I wasn't planning on doing it. It <laughs> yeah. was just that I have weird questions sometimes because yeah. I was just like, you know, it's impossible yeah. for every single person in the world to have a beautiful baby. Yeah. But have you ever heard somebody let somebody know? Because every, right? every mother is going to say it. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to say I, one of my babies was ugly. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. She was a yeah. poor baby. She oh. was. A, the first two were beautiful without. <laughs> oh, dang. We know who it is now. So when she comes across, she's going to be like, was I really ugly? I actually said it out of order on purpose. So. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Well, you said the first two. Uh, yeah. So the first one is ugly. The fir- no, the first one was pre- pretty. Yeah. And then, yeah. Oh, then after nope. that. Yeah, she'll figure it out when she watches this. Yeah. Um, what are some other parent superstitions that you could think of? Or have you done yourself? Oh, gosh. I don't think I've done any of them. Yeah? No. I know pregnant women are very big on superstition. And even with, you know, their parents, whatever the case is, they pass that superstition down to their, you know, um oh we know what my grandma my grandma used to say i remember this she used to say when you see like a pretty baby and you just and you can't stop looking at you have to pinch it yeah you have to touch her yeah touch the baby because otherwise she called it an oh yeah and and it means something i don't know something wrong with the baby if you don't touch it like something will happen isn't that just like an eye in spanish or something kind of like yeah is that what it is it's it's (laughs) kind of like yeah but it's it's Made different, I guess, in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one too is not to fight with people when you're pregnant because the baby will look like that person. Which that one's kind of true, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The that baby way. might not oh oh wait, you meant like argue. Yeah, so like let's say the mom is pregnant. <laughs> like, would anybody fight with like Yeah, you haven't heard that one? No. So like when a mom is pregnant and she'll be fighting with the husband and then the husband, the baby looks like the husband, or the brother in law or the sister in law or something like that. When they fight specifically with the one person, mm-hmm. the baby is told that the baby's gonna come out looking like that person so do you look like yeah. your dad oh he yeah, looks look like his dad. dad yeah he's his dad 100%. yeah 100 percent. yeah <laughs> can't sometimes, deny you yeah sometimes when i do the fil- the old filter like it pulls on my oh, dad's picture old yeah and i'm like what the heck like yeah <laughs> i was like shit is this my dad i'm like nope it's me yeah um what's another one let's see not to have your child eat off the floor because they'll get sick but I don't like that one because of the fact yeah, that it's building like, their immune system. Exactly. You know, what I mean? you know, my daughter dropped something, a, a vitamin on yeah. the floor the other day. And she's like, should I eat it? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Got my dirt. Dirt don't hurt. Yeah. Come on, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, no, three second rule. I mean, yeah, let, me, let me correct myself. 
depending on where it drops. So if it's at your house, you know you're clean, cool. Exactly. But if you're eating South Phoenix, you know, at a or like you're out in the, the wall, dirt, right? Yeah, you know, no, don't necessarily. It's all got dirt on it. I mean, yeah, some of God didn't make dirt, but <laughs> yeah, not that kind of dirt. Yeah. Um. Let's see another one. Um. Oh yeah. So a pregnant women to put a um a bandage on the baby's belly but on their belly button. So that way the or I'm sorry, on the baby's belly button. So that way they don't get an Audi. You never heard of that one. No? No. What about you, Eliza? I never heard of that one either. Yeah, so like when the baby's born, um, right away you put a, a band-aid on the baby's belly button so that way it doesn't become an Audi. That is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be an old one, man, because I'm just already man. thinking like a Band-Aid is not forcing my flesh to do anything. Yeah. Outside, yeah, I don't know. It's all superstition. Up. Yeah. That's what about the egg under the bed? I heard of that one. The yeah. egg under the bed. It's supposed to one? draw negative energy. Yes. Yeah. Or it's supposed to um, take sickness. Like my, my grandma had said this. You crack an egg uh -huh. on your stomach when you're like sick and it's, you're supposed to. That reminds me. So my coworker brought a uh, thing about, and I'm going to probably say it wrong, so I apologize, but it's Re Reiki. Have you heard of that? You said it right. Re is okay. it Reiki? Yeah. Yeah. They I've kind of, of do the same thing where they're focusing the stones on certain parts and they're yeah. drawing out the negative energy. That's what it reminded me of. Or the sickness. Yeah. Like, yeah it's all, all about that. energy. Yeah. 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 It's all about energy. I believe yeah. in stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So they're testing out your energy and stuff like that. Um, let's think about some of them that are supposed to be real. Um, like pregnant women um, shouldn't go outside when there's an eclipse. No, you didn't hear about that I one? I didn't hear about that one. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to affect the baby somehow. Um, what about you can't eat fish or deli meat? The fish one. Because there's of mercury something, and parasites. Yeah, the mercury. Yeah. Yeah. And the deli meat because of parasites and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. There's parasites in all meat. There really is. And you know the thing that But is I, it really true though, you think? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I really the I believe the parasites, yes. The parasites, yeah. When what about pregnant? the mercury? You think so? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. In the fish. In the yeah, fish, yeah. but because that's like protein. That's like But right? I think it's so young, you know? Yeah, I guess. I think I it's know. from the water though, the mercury. Is it? That too, yeah. It's in the ocean, so that's how they absorb it. Yeah. I don't think it's like they're getting like yeah, it's not like they're born with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're Crazy. not like getting exposed to like pure mercury. It's just like remnants of it. You gotta you gotta think everything we put in the ocean, those fish and animal that live in the ocean eventually absorb it in some form or another. True. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm trying to think of other ones. I mean, that's pretty much just the main the main gist of it. Oh, right, here's one. My mom or my grandma used to say, when you drop something, and that means the devil. Hit you with his tail. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She used to scare the shit remember, out of us. Did you guys ever get told that? <laughs> I got damn. When you guys were, um, my, I, my mom used to tell me this one all the time, and she was told to her, her parents about it, was that when you, they were kids were being bad, that the devil, the devil was going to run right aside them on the vehicles when oh they were in the God, car. No. Yeah, she would tell me something like that, and I was like, that's kind of creepy. That's you know crazy. what I mean? Especially if you're driving at night. Where do you think they hear all this from? I don't know. <laughs> we yeah. told them all these yeah. lies. Well, they were only fucked up uncles. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Some fucked they up were family only, members. <laughs> yeah, they were only a couple years out from witchcraft and all that stuff. Right, because yeah. they, you think we, we've seen some shit. They've seen some yeah. shit too. Um, another thing I was just thinking about too, um, that eighties and nineties babies have to be one of, and it was because of a fact I seen a video on it, are the most prolific babies of all time, because they've been through most than any other generation. We've really? been through, yeah, the Cold War, nine eleven, COVID. Um, yeah. he, this person like named a bunch of stuff, and I can't remember what everything but that's just you know desert storm desert storm desert yeah storm, yeah so i mean if you think about that that's a lot for us you know yeah so, round of applause oh, to 80s and 90s baby right 80s in the house yes. there we go. i was literally just looking for a, a way to give us <laughs> some recognition what are you i'm 83 what are you 84 84 what yeah. about you elijah 84 84 yeah. 80s, yeah. Babies, I'm 80s here. babies yeah michael jordan was rookie right Whatever. yeah uh -huh. One of the best uh, Mustang bodies yeah. was uh, was really popular at the time. Yeah, 
Michael J. Fox was becoming a millionaire. Yep, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, I wish he didn't get sick, you know what I mean? Because I, I wanted to see him to do so many other movies and stuff. And right? Like, Back to the Future was, like, that my been, favorite movie. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been do- dope if they would have done a new version of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, they could. They could still put him in there with his, um. what does he have, Parkinson's or something Parkinson's, like that? Yeah. yeah. They could be like, this is my grandson, though. Like, he could be, maybe they could, ooh, Maybe they could tie it into him getting Parkinson's because he was jumping to the future so much. So it was a side effect. And now his kid is trying to do it and he's trying to stop his kid from doing it so he doesn't get it also. Dang. That's deep. That's a deep one. I just need I just need five percent uh Columbia (laughs) or Universal, whoever idea. Whoever made that. Yeah. Or a cameo. Um do you guys believe your kids would be able to make it without you guys in their life right now? No. God forbid, you guys, today's your last day. You wrap it up tomorrow. You mean Would like totally by themselves? No like family by the, help? Like, yeah, like no family help? Um, like, I mean, just mentally, physically, emotionally, just everything. Like, I mean, they'll still have their family. Everybody else, yeah. just minus you. Minus, I think I think the girls would be okay without me if something yeah. were to happen. Yeah. yeah. But only because of family. Yeah. You know, family support for sure. Like, yeah. all my family would they really would support? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think about a few of my friends, a few family members, and it's like, okay, do they really support? Yeah. Like, and then- there's not all of them are going to support, though. You only have, like, out of, because we have a big family. Yeah. And unfortunately, there's only a handful of that family that's going to step in and help. Yeah. You know? Here's another thing, too, is would they want the support? Because I know a few family members that, have, you know, don't have necessarily, like, their siblings, or the, let's say their parents, you know, passed or whatever case, one, two, or both. Mm hmm. And they tend to change because of the situation. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, it's we're reaching out, but they're not, you know, opening up. I guess in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Me? Do I think? Yeah. My son would be all right. Um, to be honest, he's such a mama's boy. Yeah. I feel like as long as his mom, I mean, he would definitely be sad. Yeah. You know, but I feel like he would take it harder if he lost his mom over me. Okay. Not that it not not to like discredit me. Yeah. But he's he's me. He's literally a mini me. And yeah. when I was his age, I was such a freaking mama's boy. Yeah. He's yeah. such a freaking mama's boy right now. Yeah. You know what's funny is my girls, they're they're daddy's girls. Yeah. You know, not I don't really they're not like, oh mom. mom. I mean, it is mom, 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 but right. like I think they I sometimes feel like they feel more for their dad. Yeah. You know, and I am I'm here because to what what am I here for? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes but, I feel like they're just really close to their dads. Yeah. I guess so. But and that's okay. I'm okay yeah. with that, you know. I have to agree and disagree with you. Um, I get it, but at the same time, like right now it might be dad's time. Later on in life, they're like, okay, like this is my moment with because I remember going through my life, there was a time where I was really close to my mom. Mm-hmm. There was a time where I was really close to my dad. And there was a time where literally I just wasn't really close to both of them. Yeah. I was out doing my own thing. Yeah. Now I'm starting to come back in the picture where I'm like, I'm starting to realize that time is really precious. It's really short. Yeah. So now I'm trying to gather the time that I have left or the time that they have left or whatever, however you want to paint the picture, to be able to say, okay, like this is what I want to do now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it might work right now where it seems like they're, you know, pro dad. Yeah, it definitely does. I yeah. think I think even now that I'm thinking about it, like when they were babies, it was always me, 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 me. Yeah. Mom, mom, this, mom, mom did all of it pretty yeah. much. I did. I did do a lot. Yeah. I will take credit for that. I did a lot when they were babies. Yeah. So. Because I love I, the fact that right now with, with my babies, they're pro mom. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, just cause the fact that it's giving her the love, you know, not that necessarily that I can't provide, but it's giving her a different type of love that she can, um, have, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's the reason why she was blessed with nothing but voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's being able to like, you know, be blessed, you know, with that kind of love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but before we continue, we're going to take a quick potty break. Um, but before we do, don't forget that like. It sounds like I'm rambling a little bit. Let me say that, that again. Does it? But before we continue, we're going to take a quick potty break. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to this channel, and share this video for support.
We'll like be right and back. Subscribe, everybody. Yes, please. Yes, please. Welcome, yeah, welcome, welcome. Just kidding. I'm new, I'm welcome new. back. Yeah. I'm new, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Um, would you guys both consider yourselves to be a cool parent to your kids? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. <laughs> and what are you doing that's making them say that you're cool? No, it's not really anything that I'm doing. I think I just see, I just notice a lot of, I think it was because I was a young, or a young mom. Yeah. And I see a lot of the parents, you know, that uh-huh. are, they're older, you know, so I think, I think. They see I keep up to with the generation, right. what's going on. And I have to say, you know? this is just from my own opinion, but I've met your kids. You know, I met your husband. I think you guys are like the ideal like family. Um, You're not the ideal But see, family. here's the thing. It's because you guys aren't trying to be like picture perfect. We're definitely not. You guys are literally just, I think when I see your pictures and stuff like that, I'm like, man, this is a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? What you guys Aww, got going thank on. Thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, um, it's freaking... It's not easy. No. You know what I mean? But I think that's why it makes it work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, what are some of the things that your kids are stressing about these days? Um, you know, what's Bianca stressing about? That's the oldest one. She's she's stressing well, she goes to college, uh-huh. you know. And she stresses about mostly just making sure her, her grades are good. She she's she's just that girl that you okay. know, goes She's all in. Yeah. You know, she likes to have good grades and work and save money. Like, right. That girl can save some money. She acts like she's poor. That girl is not poor. She wants to wait till I get paid. Girl, no, you don't. Uh-huh. Like, it's, yeah, that's that's not my money. Like, she's really good. That's she did good. not get that from me. She sounds like yeah. me. Yeah. She's like, she acts like she's poor. Yeah. yeah. But she's not. And the other one, the other two. I think well, she's doing homeschool right now. The middle one, uh-huh. Alexis. She she's doing homeschool, so I think she's trying to adapt to that because she doesn't like. She's very social, uh-huh. but she got in trouble. Remember, so that's why you're gonna get in fights at school. Guess what? You can't shut your mouth. You're out of school. <laughs> yeah, because she likes to do this. So let me ask you, because of the fact that you had one in school, and then now you have one that's doing homeschool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who is being able to benefit more? Um, well, they're kind of both benefiting, but I would say Alexis because she, she's home and she's going to put more hours in at work Yeah, because I don't want her trying to go out with her friends, like do your schoolwork during the week and you can go to work during the week Uh if you want, you don't have to, but you're not going to be going out with your friends. So out of the two, would you say that would be your most successful? I think they're both going to be successful in their own way. But let's see who, if you had to pick one out of the two to figure out who's going to be the most successful, just based on education. As of, if in the moment right now, yeah. the way things are going, Bianca's going to be really successful. Who's more socially inclined out of the two? The homeschool or the school? Home school. school? Yeah. More socially inclined. Like- well, because she still talks to her friends. Oh, okay. Even they start FaceTiming her from the class. I'm yeah. like, oh, my God. Because when we went through the whole COVID situation, like, I think that destroyed a big part of our social interaction. Yeah. Kids didn't know how to act. All of a sudden, we became, you know, a lot more sensitive than we are. Um, we don't know how to read subtext. or We don't even know how to read text, the context of, you know, of a text message. Yeah. Everything just got, like, blurred. You know what I mean? Um. So that's why I wonder the whole social dilemma that we were put in. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it didn't really stop them from being social because they were still they were still social. Yeah. Over the phone though. Oh, okay. With COVID and everything. Yeah. It was hard though at first. Like, I can't see my friends. Oh my gosh. Like they were they were throwing little tantrums. Yeah. You know, when COVID first came out, I remember Bianca was like Oh my God, what are we going to do? Because we couldn't leave. Yeah. You know, we were stuck in the house with just us. Yeah. They were kind of going a little crazy. Huh. Um, I wanted to ask your opinion, because earlier today, my son got invited to a birthday party. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if my wife recently had the dream, if she had the dream in the past, but that, uh, because my son, he's going to an escape room for kids, like oh, kids okay. his age. So it's That's a bunch of, fun. like 10, 11 year olds. But she was afraid. She's like, I don't want to leave him there because. That there was one incident here in Arizona where the kids actually got trapped in the escape room. 
I'm like, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, Knock no. Yeah. He's ten. Yeah, he's ten. Yeah. She's just a, she's just being motherly. She, yeah, maybe yeah. she's just. A little... But I was thinking about that. Um, have you ever came across a situation where you had a dream that had to do with your kids and kind of you know made you think about your intuition? I never really did have anything like that. No. Yeah. What about you, Elijah? I'm sorry. Can you ask me again? Uh, your intuitions, uh, based off of dreams. Like, have you ever had a dream about you know your kid and it like made you worrisome? Um, like to the point where you wouldn't let your baby go. Yeah. Do that because you had that dream. Yeah. To be honest, um, it's been coming up a lot more often, and I don't really talk about it a lot. Yeah. But I smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. I don't really dream. I don't really remember my dreams. And they say that smoking before bed affects your dream memory. Really? I think it's connected to that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really, I honestly, like, I would say easily nine nine out of ten times I'm not remembering my dream. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember my dreams either, to be honest. I remember every single Do dream. Do you? Yeah. Really? It oh was crazy. crazy. So um, there was a situation that happened within the family and stuff like that. And I had a weird dream where my sister-in-law was in the picture. And I was having a conversation. We've been clashing, whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm having this conversation in my dream. And two weeks later, we end up having like a meeting or whatever at her house. Mm -hmm. She was there. She had him showing up, whatever the case is. And then she was like, oh, yeah, I want you a part of this meeting. And I was like, all right, cool. And there was a part of the actual meeting. It's real life now, not the dream, mm -hmm. where me and her, like everybody had left. And me and her are having this exact conversation. What? Kid you not. And I was like. I was like, and I, it was funny because I think like a day or two before I had told my wife, like, I don't know why, but your sister came across my mind, like in my dream, like yeah. we were having this conversation, whatever. And then like, you know, when it actually happened, I told my wife, I'm like, this is actually a moment. She's like, oh shit. I remember you telling me this. Mm -hmm. it's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. I don't know. It was weird, but. Um, Deja vu. Right? I mean, yeah. Deja vu. Or I'm a psychic. Finest. Yeah, I'm a psychic. Well, what are the lottery numbers? <laughs> 7, 14, 32, 16, 18, Powerball. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't even think that's enough numbers. Six. You need six, yeah. Um, And I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this. Teacher gets annoyed by kid's mother, so the teacher teaches the kid to call her mom. How are you guys feeling about this? The teacher teaches the kid? Yeah, so the teacher is beefing with... um The mom? Yeah, with the mom. And the teacher is like, okay, like, I'm going to get you back. So she teaches the child to call the teacher mom at school. Oh, I thought you meant oh. like, call her on the yeah, phone. Yeah, that's what I thought, I too. Like, I'm like, no. wait a minute. What? So, so when the teacher, that's when the, up. yeah, I know. Yeah. When the kid leaves for the day, the teacher purposely says bye to the little kid. And the little kid's like, bye, mom. Oh, hell <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm going to be calling that teacher. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, me, um, this is not appropriate. <laughs> yeah, go straight to uh, what's HR for a school? Principal, right? Isn't that the principal? I guess so. the no, uh, the dean. Yeah, the because dean? now they have deans now. Yeah, they're super. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, my school has my kids' school has um the deans now. <laughs> they have primary dean and then they're the higher. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what about this situation? Girl gets pregnant at fourteen to a nineteen-year-old. 19-year-old forces the 14-year-old to get an abortion. The 14-year-old goes through with it only to regret it later on. If you have a one-on-one -on -one with this girl, what are you saying so that way she's not living her life in regret and grief? Oh, gosh, that's a tough one. That's it can't a... all be winners, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ugh, she's so young. How do you get her to, like, deal with that trauma? She's going to have to have a lot of counseling. Yeah. So she's going to have to talk that out. Yeah. And what the hell is a 19 year old doing with the four chair? What the hell? I, I, I have so many questions. Where's on the that. parents at yeah. right there? Yeah, that's you know? R. Kelly and uh, Aaliyah right there. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 I don't know. It's so sad. Yeah. Um, have you watched any recent videos of Kanye and Kim? Or what the, what the whole situation like I watch is? I Snapchat. Like, okay. I see like the stories on Snapchat. So did you see the most recent rant? Which one was it? So. Like, which one was it? There's yeah. so many. So Kanye was attacking Kim on their daughter mimicking Ice Spice. Are you familiar with Ice Spice? What is that? Ice Spice is a female rapper. I'm not really. No, she's the one that's... um. Elijah, that mixed looking chick, right? Yeah. What is that song that she has? 
uh, uh, a munch. Yeah, uh, you're a munch or something like that. Like she's like, like super. She's she's probably mixed because she's yeah. like, uh, uh, she's yeah. like Patrick with a tan. Like her complexion. Let me see. Yeah. Pull a picture up. No, she's got see. like a like a reddish. Is that fro, the girl? Right? Oh no, that's not the one he's married to, right? No, nah, she looks young. Who is that girl? Not to say that Kanye wouldn't do yeah. that, but that chick looks young, young. Like she's probably like twenty. Oh my god, no, I did not know yeah. about this. So watch, I'll give you like two seconds of it. Okay, so that's that's Ice Spice. That, that's her. Or that's his. That's daughter? her. No, that's that's her. Cause you know who she is, right? Uh, I think so. I think yeah. so. So what? So, he he found her or what? No. So I thought you were showing the footage of his daughter doing whatever. No, I was going to. Um. So Kanye was attacking Kim on their daughter, mimicking Ice Spice. Ice Spice is known by her lyrics by talking about um getting her boxy and then dudes being a munch and so on. Um. And I'm gonna show you the video. I hate when it auto corrects. I'm trying to put in Kanye West and it puts Lonley West. I'm like, it doesn't even make sense. But um, his daughter was mimicking Ice Spice, and I, I can't find father, the exact video. But so she's kind of like dancing, like Ice Spice, whatever the case is, and mimicking her her lyrics and stuff like that. I did not know that. Can you see Elijah? Yeah. Um, see it. So what, Kim got mad about that? No, Kanye is like really upset. And I have to agree with them because of the fact that she's over here like, you know. Um, but what are you saying if this is your little girl? Because the, the little girl is young. I think she's, I don't know, 8, she's 10, 12. my son's age. Yeah, yeah isn't yeah. she like 10 or 10? Something like that, yeah. 11, something like that. Yeah, I don't know, but it's. I mean, that's their industry that they grew up in. So that's all that. That's what they are, they're going to grow up in. Well, that's what knowing. they're attacking. So one you know? side's attacking Kim because they're like, that's what you grew up in. So yeah. that's why you're teaching your daughter to follow him in the steps. Yeah. And then they're attacking Kanye because Ka they're like, why is Kanye getting mad when all he dates is these strippers and mm -hmm. porn stars and stuff? Yeah. Either way, like, I don't know. I understand where Kanye's frustration is coming from because it's different when you're dating someone to when that's actually your, that's your seed. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's um, like the legends, uh, dog pound gangsters once said, "You can't turn a hoe into a housewife." Yeah, <laughs> amen. And, amen to that. And then he gets upset yeah. what his ex hoe is doing to his child. Yeah, just saying. Yep. Just saying. Yeah. And then side note too, just not, not not to get too far off topic, but is it just me or when Kanye is like really upset, he sounds kind of like Terrence Howard. <laughs> Oh, that's like funny. he's like on the bridge of crying. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't know, man, but I, 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 I like. yeah. Uh, Kanye's yeah. got a lot going on, that yeah. guy. Yeah, he does. Hopefully he's getting that mental help. Um, and the last one. Friend's daughter waits until the girl turns 18 to let the child know she was adopted. Was she wrong for that? Oh, that's a that's a touchy subject too. Yeah. But you know. You got to be honest with your kids. I mean, so let's say that was you. Let's say it's one of your kids, right? Mm -hmm. And they're adopted. And your friend goes and spills the beans to her. Oh, God, that would that would hurt. So you would be more upset at yourself than you would at your friend? I'd be mad at my friend and yeah. myself. Both. Yeah. yeah, I would. Just because yeah. that's just. Because I'd be mad at the friend. I, I, I'm putting more sympathy towards the parent because we don't know that situation. Let's say it was a, a, a rape situation. And that's the reason why yeah. they're holding out and saying um, that they couldn't have kids and so they had to adopt this one. Or let's say it was a situation where they just couldn't have kids. Or, or they, yeah. I don't know. There's so many different variables. Yeah. They might not even be able to answer the biological questions. That's who you got to think about that. A lot of people don't think about that. Like it's scary adopting a kid right and then yeah. explaining to them that they're adopted and what happened to their biological they yeah have no idea what happened to their biological it's like how do yeah. you even have that conversation how does yeah. that even come up like just because you adopted them at, when they're babies so yeah. it's like when do you have like and what what nerve you know? of the friend to be like you know what like you were adopted yeah like and then what's the context of it too because and is that really a friend right well i'm gonna play devil's know? advocate i love playing devil's advocate um no correlation to the devil like you know what i mean <laughs> God bless. Amen. Yes. Um, but if let's say the daughter went to the friend and said, 
I found this out. Can you tell me the truth? Because my parent couldn't. Mm. You know what I mean? Now all of a sudden it's like the parent, the friends just still send them to the parent. Yeah. Or, least, or, Even or if you let knew the, that parent the parent know that the kid came to them. Yeah. yeah. Like, you, know, you should talk to your mom about that. And yeah, because yeah, it's not their place. Yeah. It's mom. a it's a family right. that's a family conversation, not yeah. a friend of the family conversation. Yeah. Before I forget, 100. shout out to Christina. Um Christina. Wait, your sister? Yes, my sister. Christina, when are you gonna come on? I know. Come sit I, with me in this chair. I told her, but um she had noted she had pointed out something to me, and I want you to help me out with it because I didn't realize it, but she said, let me read out. She's an avid uh listener and watcher too. Shout out to her and shout out to my mom. Um, but she said, It's good, but you say whatever the case is too much. You that you say that? <laughs> yes. You say whatever the case is? Yes. <laughs> so anytime rem- help me figure out because so I what don't, do you say? What kind of conversations are you? I don't you know. Having? I guess I say it all the time. So I, if you guys I've noticed me you say it, say it but everybody has their filler. I know, but yeah. stop being a hater. So I used to say and um in the very beginning of the shows and I used to drive me nuts. Now that I say that, I want to move away from that. I want to say something else. I don't even notice that you I didn't say realize that. It yeah. <laughs> even when I'm editing the video and I'm all tired and everything else, and a lot of times I'll catch stuff. I never catch that. It's crazy. But I will try not to say that. But thank you for watching. I appreciate that you say it. But <laughs> I just you gotta, like, like I said, I feel like it's a it's a filler. I'm gonna ring a bell, and every time I say it, he's gonna like ding on it, so that way I like. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Can we, yeah, can we get a uh, shot color on you too? <laughs> Actually, that might I be good. For to the bell. So Dang, now I'm thinking. What you know, my fillers are like, mm, like, <laughs> yeah. like a, uh, or yeah. I'll laugh. Yeah, <laughs> those are I my think, fillers. I think laugh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> Nobody's gonna That's the one me. I meant to put. Oh. <laughs> and you know what that means. It's now time for the no, the O, oh, and the laugh. It's where this and every show we give out a random hack, fun fact, or message, and joke. Today's hack, do you have your kids that are messy when eating their ice cream on our popsicles? Oh, you know you do. Yes. Well, turn a coffee cup lid into a drip catcher. You will no longer have to worry about that crazy mess. So all you do is you just flip it upside down, mm-hmm. and then you put the popsicle stick in there and... Voila. Does it fit in there? Because popsicle yes. sticks are like, got Thin. that weird shape. Yeah. They're not circled. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. I'm, now, <laughs> I'm actually Because you got your to... straw in there. Yeah. And the popsicle sticks are like. And See, I've like... seen it done with styrofoam cups where you just cut a slit in the. Oh, see, yeah. You cut the cup in half and yeah. then cut a slit yeah. in. You could do it that way, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> see what happens to try to help you out. People are trying to bring the man down. <laughs> <laughs> and the message. Every child is unique and special, and words of encouragement can help them to see their own potential. Today, share positive messages, help them build confidence, feel loved, and give them the opportunity to tap into their fullest potential. Words of encouragement can be powerful, can be a powerful tool to empowering kids, filling them with positive. And the joke? Yes. When I was at the store, my wife, wait, <laughs> I think I might have said this one. It. I don't <laughs> know. You it? tell me. Well, let me see. When I was at the store, my wife told me to grab six cans of Sprite. No, I don't think so. Don't but when I got home, what'd you grab? I realized I grabbed seven up. <laughs> That's the same thing. Uh, was last week? Uh, no, 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 no. No, I'm talking about seven up and Sprite. It's the same thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's your, what's your I thought you were talking about the joke at first. Yeah. No. I know. I got confused. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know if I go over this. Yesterday. Or last weekend. Yeah. But as we wrap up the show, I want to give a huge shout out to today's guest. Actually, we don't have a we guest. We don't have today. a guest. I know. <laughs> I've told you I had a wing in a little Hold bit. On, I, got, I got him on camera. Yeah. I got I got your guest on camera right now. Right over there. Cool. You're going to announce him? Uh, who's our guest? I don't know. Who's in the chair next to Brittany? What? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I got him on camera right but now. But we did have a guest. But um, unfortunately, she couldn't be here. It's all right. People yeah. missing out on all the fun. We, we they still, do. Yep. This is so much fun. Yep. And we still keep on trucking. Heck yeah, we do. But um shit. Let me give a shout out to my wonderful, amazing, and elegant co host Bernice. Oh, thank you. But I'm so not, angelic I'm not, with that. Yeah. I'm really not. Yeah. I'm just I know. 
Don't see your Instagram live. I was cause... late. Yeah. Patrick's no. like, where are you? No, I was just, <laughs> no, because everybody was canceling out and I'm like, shit, like, okay, what are we doing? Just I know, and then I nervous. forgot. I didn't. I didn't respond to your message. And I, yeah, I seen it, too. and I was gonna respond, but then I got distracted. And once I yeah. get distracted, I forget. Oh, I forget, and I'm yeah. like, I'm in a whole nother land now. Yeah. No if worries. I'm not on it right then and there, yeah. I'll forget. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just yeah, I was that. just like, that's why I wasn't sure. I was like, uh, let's see. But um, I had to change the sound up. And as always, Mr. Elijah Wealth for Generations Lee himself. Yay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Nice to have you back on. It's been a minute. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been floating around, you know, trying to yeah. trying to build for Habari. Yep. Nah, I'm not. And I was just off. <laughs> but Jimmy was please, holding it down. Yeah, Jimmy did, does a good job. Uh, you know, Jimmy's shout out, tall. Shout out to yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Shout and, out to seven foot, yeah. seven foot five Jimmy. Yeah. What I sound and, extra loud all of a sudden. And the whole Habari live entertainment. Well, shout out to all of them too. Yes. Yeah. And please like and follow Habari Live Podcast, Habari Entertainment, and One Love on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Stay safe out there. Stay hydrated and make it a great day. We're out. Have a great day, everyone. Yeah.